We have touched on the conservation of energy when we are referring to the mechanical energy of a system, but we also need to keep in mind that there are other types of energies. We define energy as a property of an object that describes its ability to produce change in itself or the environment. And we've also talked about a lot of different types of energies. We've also not talked about a lot of different types of energies. Electromagnetic, sound, thermal, chemical, kinetic, potential, nuclear, radiant. These are just a few examples of which ways that an object can be changed. What we need to keep in mind is that the total energy in any process is constant. It can change forms and it can leave the system to go somewhere else, but the total energy remains the same. We touched on that when we talked about the conservation of mechanical energy. What we did not consider was all the other types of energy that were not doing work on the system, and really this is an important idea to understand when it comes to describing the overall energy change of a system. At this point we will not get into all the details that go into those other energies, but we will deal with them as they come up. The transformation of one type of energy to another is happening all the time. Turn on a light. Light is a form of energy that is being converted from the electrical energy coming in from the switch. That electrical energy probably comes from the burning of fossil fuels. That is chemical energy that was stored when the organisms ate food. That food came from the plants which got their energy from the sun that is performing nuclear reactions right now creating that energy. It just goes on and on. So that transformation is always occurring. Now as you probably know, not all of the energy in that long line becomes available for us to use. Even though energy is conserved, we often want to refer to what we deem useful energy. This is referred to as the efficiency of whatever source of energy we are discussing. It is the comparison of how much useful energy do you get out of the total energy that you put in.